Is there a favorite person that you've delivered coffee to? I have a lot of really exciting ones actually coming up Ooh. that I can't yet mention. Is there a slight tease? A mother. Oh. I know who it is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chris Olson, and this is Billboard News. It's Rania Niftos with Billboard News, and we're here with marketing genius, TikTok superstar, Chris Olson. Wow, <laughs> what an intro. I didn't even know I was those things. No. Anyone who has even looked at your TikTok for a second knows that you're almost ahead of the trends in a lot of ways. You make things cool. Yeah, it was really fun to see how TikTok kind of takes a life of its own with so many of these yeah. songs. And of course, you are good friends with Miss Megan Trainer, who Love just announced her. that she's pregnant she again. She is, yes. How did she tell you? Tell me about it. It was kind of like a low key, because she was like, I think I'm pregnant. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay, like what do we do with this information? <laughs> but it's like one of the things she really wanted this year. Yeah. And so to see that like happening is, I'm so happy for her and Daryl. Yeah, I look good in my Versace dress. What do you think is the main thing that artists could learn from someone like you if they want to promote their music? They want to see your authenticity, they yeah. want to see you, and they just want to connect with you like a friend. Totally. And when you do have something you want to promote or share, or you want people to really like lean in and listen, yeah. then that's when you can do that kind of promotional stuff. I'm super excited to announce that I'm creating my own coffee brand, Flight Fuel. And transitioning into product selling, You've got Flight Fuel coming Flight Fuel. up. It's I do happening. I have a coffee brand, yes. And it feels so perfect for you because a lot of people discovered you on TikTok from coffee deliveries. Yeah. Hi, I'm Chris. I deliver coffee to famous people around the world and I'm generally always drinking it. So how did you bridge that gap between content and now I can monetize this? I think I just wanted to find something that felt really authentic to me and coffee has been a part of my content but also a huge part of my life. Right. I just wanted to dive in and, and start working on something that felt very true and authentic to me. And now I'm just really excited for people to kind of feel like they're a part of this series with me. Yeah. Do you have a line of blends? What is the first launch? Yeah, so the first launch will be three different uh, bean blends, cool. like bags of beans, uh -huh. and two cold brew concentrates. Ooh, okay. And I named each one after airport codes. So like my cold oh, brew concentrates are my LAX blend and my JFK blend. I love And then the beans, we have DCA, LHR, and SFO. So rewinding a bit though, how did the coffee delivery trend start? I was in a relationship when I started TikTok, mm -hmm. and so I would text him like, I'm going to get us coffee. And then I would fly across the country or I even like <laughs> flew to Italy once. I was able to deliver it to the vice president, nice. um, to Austin Butler, like while he was Elvis. And like looking back on those moments, it's like an out of body experience. Right? The other thing okay. though that I like about you on social media was how open you are about mental health, addiction recovery. Yeah. How did you get to that point where you're like, I'm ready to be really open about this online to millions of people? I think there wasn't even a point where I decided I was ready. I think I've kind of always been that way, especially mm. after completing my treatment center. I knew once I started getting an audience, it couldn't just be about me and sharing like myself, like in yeah. just in a comedic way all the time. There had to be more depth to it because um, I now have a little bit of a responsibility to positively affect people. And so sharing like my therapy sessions or sharing my stories about addiction and just showing people that I, while I am kind of on the other side, it's always a work in progress. Yeah. Chris, you can't do that face every time you cry. Okay. I was ready to give up on everything that I dreamed of as a kid and then found this, this one app that happened to change my life, that changed everything. All it takes is that one thing and for that tiny belief in yourself to continue pushing you through. Yeah. Chris, what did we say about putting ourselves in situations where we know we are likely to get hurt? No pain, no gain. Nope. Right. Who do you think is somebody that you would like to take on their TikTok and like push yeah. them forward? I mean, just because she has been my number one artist since I was a child. She was the first concert I ever went to, Lady Gaga. It, it would be such a fun experiment to mm -hmm. see what I could do if we were ever to work together. What are you most looking forward to in the next few months? 
Definitely seeing the release of flight fuel and seeing people like get their hands on it, but you know, who knows what's on the horizon. I love it. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited for you. I'm excited to try flight fuel is mostly what I'm excited about. I'm excited about. for you to try it too. Please let me know what you think. I will, I will. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.